Well, good morning. It is Sunday, March the 20th. I hope you had a great week last week and are off to another wonderful start today. So yesterday, I had the opportunity to go to a church on the west side of Indianapolis, along with some members from the Lebanon Church of Christ. And we went there because this particular church yesterday was having their diaper distribution. And at Lebanon, we are going to have our diaper distribution this coming Saturday. And hopefully we will have one here pretty soon at Southeastern as well. And so we wanted to go and observe to see how they had everything organized and how they were uh, welcoming the people and registering the folks who came to pick up the diapers um, and, and just, just how they ran their process. And it was, it was a great time. We spent probably 45 minutes there, I think it was. And the lady that we talked to, um, she was extremely helpful, um, walked us through their process, told us how they did it. Um, they also had uh, another table or two set up there with a bunch of baby clothes and baby books that other people had donated and some books and pamphlets about health and, uh, um, again, health health information about infants that they got from the CDC that they were handing out. There was another table there um, with some biblical literature on it, as well as a lady who was there who was knitting a baby blanket. And they have a group there at church who get together and crochet and knit little uh, baby blankets. And so they had several bins of those. Uh, they had a very small food pantry when people came to pick up their diapers, if they needed some food, they put together a box of food for them. It was just a, it was just a really good 30 to 45 minutes there. And it was just great to see these people who were helping these mothers and these families on the west side of Indianapolis who needed some diapers for their little children. And they were doing it because there was a need. And they were doing it because they were children of God who were grateful for the love and the mercy that God had shown them. And so they were showing the love of God to these people who needed some diapers and maybe some baby clothes, maybe some children's books, and maybe some food. And I was reminded of the story of a story that Jesus tells that Matthew records in chapter 25, and I'm not going to take the time to read it. I'm sure for most of the people who are watching this, it is a very familiar story, but I'm just going to read part of it. And Jesus says, when the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people from one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on his left. And then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? And the king will answer them, Truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. So here is Jesus telling a scene of the final judgment. And he separates the people 
not on the basis of what they believed about marriage and divorce, not on the basis of what they believed about can you have Bible classes in the same building in which you have worship. He separates them not on the basis of how many times they were thinking about taking communion after Jesus was gone. He was not separating them based upon their belief that there was a resurrection or not a resurrection. He was separating them on the basis of, did they take care of the people who were less fortunate than they were? Did they see people who were hungry and feed them? Did they see people who were thirsty and give them something to drink? Did they welcome the stranger? Did they see somebody who needed some clothes and give them some clothes? Did they visit the sick? And did they visit those individuals in prison? That's how they were separated. And I got to visit yesterday with a group of people who are children of God who didn't have the name Church of Christ on their building out front or anywhere else that I could see. But they were people who believed that Jesus is the Christ and that he died, that he was buried, and that he was raised from the dead. And that their work of supplying people with diapers for their babies and young children and perhaps some clothes and perhaps a children's book or two and perhaps some food, was doing God's work. And I was grateful for that. And I was thankful for that. And I was humbled because of that. These are the works that we need to be engaged in. So let me ask you to pray for the folks in Lebanon who next Saturday are going to hand out some diapers to some needy families and try to help them. And let me solicit your prayers on behalf of Southeastern that we can put together a diaper program as well. Because what we've been told is there's no federal or state agency that provides money for families to buy diapers. And so we're going to try. And I would pray, and I would ask you to pray that it is a success and that we can show the love of God to people in this area who are in need. Because that's how the Son of Man separated the people. Well, think about that. And I pray that you'll have a great week.